Hello, Forum BXC57 here again with another vintage G.I. Joe toy review. And today I'll be looking at the 1985 Cobra Flight Pod, otherwise known as to us old timers as the Trouble Bubble. As a toy, it was released in 1985 and re released in 1986. However, it first made its debut in the 1984 Revenge of Cobra uh, miniseries pilot. Uh, throughout the cartoon run, the syndicated run of 1985 and 1986, sometimes the animation would goof and it would have three uh, rocket uh, cylinders, but it, the toy only ever had two. Unfortunately, it's raised the speculation that maybe the animators were given the prototype um, model in order to make their cells off of, and that might have had three. That's unfortunately lost a time whether that's true or not. Well, I did mention that the animation uh, model for this goofs often with there being three rocket cylinders at the back, whereas the toy only ever had two. However, the Trouble Bubble did in fact have a variant, and that's a sticker variant. Here you can see the sticker is not really much bigger than any of the other large Cobra stickers, but on the canopy, uh, I believe earlier versions of the toy had a much larger sticker on it. As you can see by the uh, sticker placement on the instruction sheet, it's almost two inches wide. However, I believe the larger the sticker would be, the harder it would actually be to put onto the uh, completely round canopy here. So I believe Hasbro replaced it with a much smaller one, which obviously would have a better chance of adhering onto uh, the curved surface and not be all wrinkled up or um, getting dirt in there during play. The Trouble Bowl had a couple of really nice features. The canopy, you could tilt it up for access for the figure to be put in here. The handlebars moved a little bit. I don't think they're really meant to, but the machine, front machine gun does in fact pivot. It had two removable rockets on either side, as well as steering vanes on the bottom of the rocket tubes. And rather well detailed rocket tubes they are, they even have a separate turbines on the top there. In addition to being able to put a pilot into the seat, you also had an aerial mine. An interesting accessory. It comes with an opening panel as well as a peg hole so you can securely put it into the seat and now you have a deadly unmanned drone. One unfortunate thing about the uh, trouble bubble is that the jet cylinders are not permanently attached they they just have these uh, they just have this one little clip and it's very uh, it's very easy to find the jets completely separated from the toy on the aftermarket and here it is with a figure in the seat um, if you want to have the figures actually holding on to the handlebar the figure is actually quite a bit forward and the is not secure not really secure into the um, the back peg because he's so far forward and as you can see the legs are dangling out and he is quite exposed however I don't believe the trouble bubble was ever meant to be a uh, frontline fighter or, or anything like that it, it is basically a patrol vehicle and as often demonstrated in the cartoon an escape vehicle
Well, that's all the time I have right now. Please check out my Facebook page for more information and behind the scenes photos for these reviews. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for next time to see another 1980s G.I. Joe tour review. See you then.